Hello crafty friends, it's Vicky here and I'm back just for a few days from vacation so I thought it would be fun to share with you some of my new products that have just arrived at my home. So this is the monthly small die kit by Spellbinders. It is called small but you can see how many dies you get in one set and all of this just for $12.50. With these dies you can put together a cat and a dog, you also get lots of dies to cut out for example these uh, bones, you also get uh, dies to cut out the collar, these are dies that cut out the tails, the ears, the noses, so many little details, the eyes for example, and um, you also get a bowl for the foot and also two dies that cut out the words besties forever and the long one that cuts out the grass. Now, if you visit their website, you will find this image that gives you an idea of how you can put everything together. However, you can be creative, play around with all the die cut pieces and create your very own little dogs and cats. So here I'm going to put together first my cat. For that, I'm going with orange cardstock and I have cut out black eyes and um, the body is uh, cut out of white cardstock. I'm trying to recreate my own cat ginger, so you will see that I'm using white and orange. For gluing everything together, I'm using my Nouveau Deluxe, which is my absolute favorite white glue. And also I'm using this uh, pencil that helps me pick up tiny little pieces. I always get a lot of uh, questions about this pencil. It is really inexpensive, you can get it for a few dollars on Amazon and it is a wax pencil. They usually use it for nail art. So here I'm adding a bit of white at the, the end of the tail just to recreate my cut. And I'm going to stick that down. I always like to add a couple of white dots at the center of uh, the black eyes. It really brings those creatures into life. And here I'm using my chalk pencil, this is one by Faber-Castell, instead of using my usual uh, gel pen, and it worked just fine. So now I'm going to put together, at the exact same manner, the little dog. For that I am combining craft cardstock with dark chocolate cardstock. And I'm not going to keep uh, the dog monochromatic, since this is going to help all the little elements stand out, and uh, it's also going to give uh, some more character on my dog. And as uh, you watch me putting this dog together, I wanted to let you know what I have been up to with my life. My kids are out of school and we have been uh, spending most of our days swimming at the nearby beach. However, I have so many new products arriving at home right now and I thought I should make an effort this week to film a few videos to share these products with you guys. So here I used a circle die to cut out three windows and uh, two, on two of those windows I'm going to nest inside my two pets and one of them is going to be a shaker window. So here I'm adding some uh, tape adhesive all around the window. I'm going to stick down a piece of acetate. Now this panel is going to be the top front of my card, but it is slightly smaller than the standard card and that's just because I think it always gives a more finished look. However, I want to do some inking at the back of those windows and in order to keep all those edges nice and clean, I'm going to use some purple tape. And of course you don't have to throw away this purple tape once you carefully peel it off, you can always use it for more projects. Now I'm going to use my Distress Oxide inks and add some color behind all those windows. I am eyeballing everything and I don't want to have a completely perfect um, blend back there, so I like to have all those imperfections with areas that are more saturated than others. And you can see here the finished look, I kind of followed the rainbow order, so yellow, green, blue, and these are going to provide a great background for my uh, elements. Now, uh, where I have the acetate, I'm going all around with foam tape, and this is going to create a little pocket for all my elements to stay put. And I also used the dies to cut out the bone and the fish bone, which I think are absolutely adorable. I'm going to place them as shaker elements where the yellow uh, window is. And I'm also going to add some uh, gems. I have enough foam tape at the back of this panel and I'm going to lay it directly on top of my card base. 
So I end up having a shaker window, which is the yellow window, and the rest of them are empty where I can fit inside my pets. Now I'm going to play around a little bit and decide where I want everything to go, and then I'm going to commit and stick them with a foam tape at the back, and just tuck them underneath those windows. Don't stick them at the center of uh, those windows, just to add more interest on your card. And another tip that I can give you is that if you want to add even more cuteness on your card, when you put the pets together, make sure that you tilt their heads a little bit. Now, to finish off my card, I cut out the word besties out of black cardstock and I'm just going to stick it there. It's a clean and simple looking card, but it combines a couple of pets as well as a shaker window. Just like always, you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. I hope you had fun today and that you got inspired. Thank you all so much for spending some time with me and I'll see you all next time.